that all that changed with the consent decree of 1974. The consent decree forced U.S. Steel to hire women, people with Spanish surnames, and African Americans. The consent decree of 74, for the first time, opened the door to allow female steel workers in the mills, and thousands of women applied at the mills. In 1977, in May, a friend of mine said, you know, they're hiring women at the steel mill. At this time, you got to remember, women were just coming into the mill. You go in to get dressed, and you're thinking, oh my God, what did I sign up for? And you had guys there, some of them were like, um, didn't like women in the mill. Mm -hmm. You had to prove yourself. And they took us down underneath the rollers in the 45-inch mill, which is where I was assigned. And they handed me a shovel, and they said, shovel this scale into this big bucket. Down there, shovel and scale for like eight hours. We took a break for lunch, go to the bathroom, and then, you know, we were back in it. I did that for about a week, and then I think the second week, they put us in the grease pits. It was a door that you had to knock in and all this red cinder. You had to go in there and clean all of that out. Graphite flying all over the place. It was scary. It was real scary. There are cranes overhead. There are people driving forklifts. There's trucks coming in. It's like, I felt like I was in another country. I mean, I put lime and soda ash after my helper left. I mean, 200, you know, 80 pound bags I'd have to put in soda ash. That was heavy. Yeah, it was real heavy. They called me up and said, you're gonna go to crane school. It was great, I, I loved it right from the start. I'd have to keep up with the mill and pick those up and put them, lift them up and pull them underneath my cab into a railroad car. Uh -huh. The railroad cars were sitting right underneath me. And that's how, how hot it was. Hot ain't the work. <laughs> <laughs> I worked in the hottest place. It was like the hot as the fires of hell down there. There was a lot of anger, I have to tell you. And um, when they saw us coming, they thought we came to take their jobs. It was just so much harassment to me because I was the only woman in that department at that time working in the gang. So I learned to act like I didn't hear any of it. I never felt uh, that I was discriminated against in, as far as my color or being a woman, no. My experience in the mill was, was something, but I don't trade it for anything. It just was really, really an experience. I was black from head to toe with the grease. <laughs> I liked it. I liked it. I got dirty every day, but you know, there's soap and water. It's that notch that I have to say, yes, I worked in the steel mills. I was a forklift operator and I was a woman.